So, so, so. All right. What we're doing. 2019 Silverado drilled and slotted rotors. 2019 Silverado stock caliper stainless steel brake line. That's all replacing old rotor, old two piston caliper. So we're going from two to four and then the old rubber line to this nice new stainless line. Uh, Cause Matthew makes more money than me. So he was able to buy this first. Yeah, 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 big ball, big ball. Yep, that's how it goes. And we're gonna start with the brake line first. So let's get into it. Brake line, new brake line. All right, so with the new brake line, we're gonna be putting this end first, and then this is gonna be the clip that holds it. Oh, but now I gotta clip this on there. Yes! Woo! Now that I got that bolt in, now I'm just gonna screw this into here, into the new brake line. And now we're gonna be taking the caliper off. So the caliper is pretty straightforward. It's just gonna be two bolts. One bolt here, and then one bo bolt toward the bottom right there. Um, and then we'll be able to slide this off, and then we'll be able to slide the rotor off. She's gonna be pissed. Dang it. Well, let's uh, try again. So now we're gonna slide the rotor off. Just like so. We're gonna slip the brand new rotor on. Right here. We have to keep the rotor tight to it. That way we can figure out how much of a spacer we need when we put the caliper on. When we put the caliper on, we kind of have to troubleshoot and see what spacer or like how much of a space that we need when mounting it on. Um, because it does have to be perfect or else you're gonna get different wear on each pad um, so we did buy some washers that we can kind of troubleshoot with for spacing okay let's turn this this has to be on the top the little drainage thing we're gonna start with two washers and see how that looks Two more washers. We're gonna put them on the bottom bolt. What we mean by um, the spacing has to be perfect. So this space here, so if we look down, this space on this side and this side have to be the same. Um, which right now they they're pretty close, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one washer off. And then I think it'll be perfect. Where the spacer goes is actually between the mounting point and the brake caliper mounting point. So the spacing is here, not at the head of the bolt. All right, so we decided one washer is gonna work. It is pretty close to perfect on both sides. Now we have to attach the line to the brake. Yeah, doggy. 
is what Nash calls a banjo bolt. It has these holes in it. I think um, that's what it's actually called. It might, it might be what it's actually called. <laughs> but now I'm attaching the line to the caliper. Okay. Here. There. Zip tied. Bada bing, bada freaking boom. You know what I'm saying? That's chill. That's chill. Chill, chill, super chill. That's chill. Chill, chill, make it chill. Stuff to do the back calipers. That baggie has. Works in plastic surgery, bro. So this is pretty sweet. Um, by upgrading to the newer style caliper, you change how you put the pads in and take the pads out, and it should make it actually a lot more simpler. Simple, because uh, you don't need to actually take the caliper off to change the pads. So put one pad in, put the other pad in. We have these guide pins. So the guide pin runs through. And then we got this itty bitty little cotter pin right in there. By uh, hooking on top, push these other ones in, and then kind of boom. Now we're good to go. Because this is the same size we oh, yeah. All right, so we got everything on. We bled the brakes. Everything's good. Now it's time to throw the tires on and uh, see what she feels like. Look at this, how, how this looks with the tire. Ooh. And I'm just gonna kinda take it around the parking lot, see how it feels. But yeah, I'm really excited. These things look sick. I mean, it feels super comfortable to stop. There's no like jerkiness. There's no nothing. That's like, I would say that's at least a hundred percent better than what we had on there for sure. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked the video and uh, yeah, get your, get yourself a new brake system because that is so comfortable now.